what the fuck is sleep? I don't even know what that is. No. Just pull me a four with that tree. Hold up and watch that bitch eat. You just answered my next question, how did the Quando placement come about? But I also seen the Poison Ivy. A lot of people don't know that that's <laughs> Boosie's daughter, right? That's yeah. A, how, how did she, how did that uh, well, come across? Well, when I opened my studio, you know, it's KSBG Studio. It stands right. for K Savage. Right. Um, and I was doing my music, man, like, really, the whole studio shit, it was a good experience as far as business. But for me doing everything as far as artists and being a producer, I was doing everything. Like, like engineering, running, recording yourself running shit. yeah, like, running the studio, like, and I took, beats wasn't even in the category. Like, I was so busy, I didn't have time to do beats. Mm -hmm. So, at that time, as an artist, K Savage, I was blowing. So, you know, I did a little talent show in Clarksville, and that kind of just sparked some shit. In eight, uh, I think it was August 2020, yeah, August 2021, mm -hmm. I did a talent show. Uh, after that, shit started blowing. So, I made the beat that Ivy had got on, mm -hmm. and What's I did the name feature. Of the song? Uh, scarred. Okay. It's on. It's on YouTube. I made the beat, and I'm like, why not make my own beat? Put a verse on it. You know, we paid her for the feature. She sent it back like two days. Man. Killed it. Killed that shit. So, you know, uh, after she did the song, fuck it, we finna go to Louisiana and shoot the video. That's hard. And we did that. She, man, real cool. That was a good like, experience, huh? Man, great experience. Her people told me this is the best feature I done ever heard her do. It was like heartfelt song, like, you know, basically just pain, struggle, you know, like, and it's like, damn, she really came on this motherfucker and just took off. And we actually did perform the song together in Atlanta at a strip club That's hard. last year. So, man, I hope we got a good connection. That's hard. So y'all, are y'all outside of music, have y'all kind of formed a relationship? Because it sounds like she, like, she kind of fucked with you, you know? Uh, not really. Not really. Okay. It's just really just been on some business stuff, but we only encountered, like, twice. But I still have communication with her manager. We actually spoke probably like two weeks ago. Uh, I think she was doing a show in Texas. You know, I, I don't know if you know or not, but I moved to Texas for a couple of months. I just got back down here. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I moved to Houston for like, man, I went August last year. Got back here New Year's. Man, I know somebody that lived down here and like, they always tell me like, man, you would love this. Like, you, you like Houston? Like, that shit lit. I heard there's a lot of strip clubs down here. I, look, I never got the experience nothing, man. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, moving there, after I moved there two weeks, after that, my granddaddy passed. Oh, damn, cancer. And I was just really back and forth, man. So, but my time up there, I needed that time, bro. Like, I needed that time. It was really an isolation period for me, but that's where I grew as being a producer, like, crazy. But it's lit, though.